Hello YouTube and people of the world, I am the Zombicutioner and today I'm bringing you guys the second part in my series of The Zombie Project. The first part is uploaded on Mondays and Fridays and that's everything you need to know about zombies so feel free to go check that out. And this which is uploaded on Wednesdays and Saturdays is the history of the maps of zombies. So today obviously we're going to be starting off with Nocturne Toten. If you guys like this, feel free to leave a like and maybe even subscribe and tell a friend. I'm doing this channel for you guys and my personal enjoyment, so we're going to get right into this video. The way that I'm going to be running this series is I'm going to be doing this in chronological order of how the maps were released in the game, not how the storyline goes, how the maps were released and how they were played. So the very first map ever is this bare bones map we know as Nachron Toten, which in German literally means Night of the Undead. However, this map wasn't always called that because its original title was actually a Nazi zombie prototype. And this map just started out as a fun extra game mode after completing the World at War campaign. This is an extremely simple and to the point map. It is a bare bones map with no perks and only 3 rooms in the original mystery box. However, their creators were wrong when they thought that this game mode would just be something fun because of its instant success and how much the game mode took off. So due to the fact that this was actually just supposed to be an extra game mode after completing the campaign and this wasn't actually supposed to be part of the zombie storyline is why many people believe that this has no connection to our storyline that we play as today. Because after all you do only play as 4 characters that are unnamed, they're just these unnamed soldiers in a bunker and they really have nothing to do with the storyline. But until in Black Ops 1 when this map was actually recreated and then again in Black Ops 2, but in Black Ops 1 they implemented in the Thunder Gun, the Monkey Bombs, and they put in our original four characters as well as Mule Kick, which left this as still a bare bones map. You just got an extra gun. They took out these original World War uh, II weapons and they put in some of the newer weapons. And then in Black Ops 2, it's actually found far off in the cornfields in transit, but it's only one level and it's not the upstairs and downstairs that we know as today. This foundational map, just like every other map that came from this, had to have its foundation set somewhere. And that foundation was set in the multiplayer map airfield and the campaign mission Hard Landing. These, is, these missions are what inspired the tra Treyarch to invent this map. And this map is where all the large and complex maps that we see today got its roots. With little easter eggs and the original power ups such as Max Ammo and Instakill is what set the stones for the future and these amazing maps that we'll never think of. So all the maps that we see today are freaking just, they spawned out of this, this three room map that was never even supposed to be part of this storyline at all. That'll do for today's episode guys of the zombie history and the maps. This was the first ever map that we ever got to play and I'm sorry that there wasn't actually more information on it but this was the stepping stone and it was just supposed to be an extra game mode after the campaign. So, if you guys like this, be sure to like it and drop a comment down below. Tweet me on Twitter, I'll leave that link in the description. If you guys want to tell a friend, that'd be awesome. Maybe even subscribe. I'm doing this channel for you guys and my personal enjoyment. So, thank you guys for watching and it truly does mean a lot.